Good morning. So it's Jesse J and Domino at Isle of Wight Radio. Paul and Haley here. Good morning. Uh, welcome along to the show. Uh, it is time for headline or hearsay. Uh, if you're on Facebook, then uh, there we go. We're live on Facebook right now, so you can um, you can join us there. Uh, this is the way it works. If you've not listened before or not watched before, uh, Charlotte will have a whole list of news stories. Some could be made up, some could be very real. All we have to do is work out, are they genuine headlines or is it completely made up hearsay? You help. You're all right. <laughs> what, what just happened then? Did you break the chair? My chair just almost catapulted me <laughs> across the studio. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Carry you're, on, Paul. You're all right there. <laughs> you're all right. Fine. <laughs> Shall we just play? <laughs> yeah. Let's do it for a <laughs> Wednesday morning. It's time to play Headline or Hearsay. Four people were taken to hospital and an entire building evacuated after reports of an unusual smell, which turned out to be a pungent air freshener. A hazardous materials response team was called to a school in California. Two businessmen and two cleaning operatives were taken to hospital with up upset stomachs. Firefighters sourced the offending stench to an office on the second floor and to a homemade plug-in air freshener with a stench of mackerel put there by a prankster. Is that headline or hearsay? So hold on a minute. It's, it's one of those, <laughs> one of those well-known plugins from uh, Glade, mackerel flavour. Oh, <laughs> oh. You see, I've heard of people that have been a bit upset with uh, X other halves and filled up sort of um, curtains, curtain rails. Yeah. Yes, with prawns and things. Yeah, I've had people do that. What? Um, <laughs> yeah, in a house. Yeah. Oh gosh. But is it headline or hearsay? Um, oh, do you know what? You would, that would be the ultimate prank, wouldn't it? When they, you just wouldn't know where the smell was coming from. Well, other than the fact that you've got a plug-in thing with picture of a mackerel on front, surely. <laughs> it's a homemade one. It's a homemade one. Oh, right, OK. Uh, Hayley thinks it's headline. David thinks it's headline. Julie thinks it's headline. Sarah Smith thinks it's headline. Emma Elliott says headline. Kirk says uh, headline from Luca and Melissa. Karen says hearsay. Keith says uh, headline. So one person saying hearsay, everyone else saying headline. I would say that's a headline. Is it headline or hearsay? We'll go with... Headline. We'll, we'll go with the with the pack and say headline. Is it headline or hearsay? It's hearsay, <gasps> but it did happen, but it was pumpkin flavour or pumpkin scented even. So, uh, yeah, it's hearsay though. It's still hearsay. No mackerel was involved. Charlotte, you Sorry. don't play fair. <laughs> Yeah, you don't play nice. You don't play fair. <laughs> yeah. Nobody else seems to, so I thought I'd step <laughs> it up a bit. Okay, well done. Okay. Well done. Let's do the next one. <laughs> Ooh. If you can live with yourself by playing like this, that's fine. <laughs> thief thought no one was looking but instead ended up in part of a priceless family photo a purse snatcher accidentally photobombed a picture being taken by a family just as he was committing the crime after seeing the incident while reviewing their photos the family called the police the man was quickly found and arrested with all their money and other valuables that he had stolen with that headline or hearsay see i think that that is plausible i do because I could see that happening with the amount of photographs that are being taken at the moment. Yeah. And also, uh, I don't know whether you've heard this story, but you know uh, people have stolen things like mobile phones mm -hmm. or tablets and then they've taken photographs without disconnecting it from the account uh, yeah. that's on the iPad or whatever, which means all the photographs go straight to the person that originally <laughs> had it. And then yeah. they just give them to the police and they yeah. go, oh, it's Bill. <laughs> <laughs> He's on our database. Yeah. Um, what's everyone thinking? Headline, says uh, Karen. Uh, Cliff uh, Woodward thinks, uh, headline, is that your brother? That's my brother. Oh, that's nice that the whole family Morning. are getting involved. Uh, David says, uh, my wife says headline, therefore it must be right. Uh, Keith <laughs> says headline. Sarah says headline. And she puts a little kiss. That's nice. That isn't is nice. It? Yeah, that is, uh, that's nice. That's we like little mean. wings, smiley faces. Yeah. Uh, so. Go headline. Headline. We're, go, headline. we're going headline, Charlotte. It's a headline. There we go. Yeah. It back. It's all on this one. Oh, I pressed oh. the wrong button and it came up hearsay very briefly. <laughs> I meant headline. There we go. Uh, right, we're all ready for the next one? Yep, yeah. I am. Then uh, let's do it. 
Almost everyone stood when the bride walked down the aisle during this wedding, except the vicar, who was bolted to a chair. The nuptials at one ceremony in Tokyo were led by Eye Fairy, a four-foot-tall seated robot with flashing eyes and plastic hair. Wires led out from beneath it to a black curtain a few feet away, where a man was typing commands into a computer. Is that headline or hearsay? In, okay. In Tokyo. So basically it was a robot that, that did the whole marriage ceremony. Yes. So there was a, a man controlling the, what, the, that... what the robot would say and mm. you may now kiss the bride and all that. Hayley White, it's her birthday today. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday to Hayley. Hayley. Thank you very much for messag messaging us. And Rachel says happy birthday to Hayley. This is a <laughs> little community on Facebook yeah. this morning. Uh, Keith thinks it's headline this morning. Julie thinks it's hearsay. Hayley thinks it's headline. Elizabeth thinks it's hearsay. Emma Elliott thinks that it is um, headline. Uh, Corin thinks it's headline. Karen says... Um, it's Japan, so it's got to be a headline. Uh, Hayley... Is Tokyo in Japan? What? Tokyo in Japan. Yeah. I get confused with Hong Kong, Tokyo and Japan. Yeah. So three. <laughs> Struggle with. Yeah. Uh, Kirk says, let's move on. Uh, Carly says headline. Uh, Sarah says uh, hearsay. Julie says headline because um, they're a bit funny with robots. <laughs> Hayley says headline, so I think I think it's a headline. Do you? I think I'm it's really a torn with this, but I'll I'll trust you for the win for the or win. the lose. We're going with the majority. Headline. Oh, it's a headline. Yay. Yay. Well done, Charlotte. Well done for losing. Um, <laughs> 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 you got one. I need you an bad. extra strong coffee as You've well. You've made me a coffee this morning that was like soup. Uh, are you in tomorrow? I am in oh, tomorrow. Oh, well, there you go. You can yes. make it super hard for us tomorrow. Hopefully. But uh, our friends, uh, Hayley, Hayley White says, yeah, yeah, I'm right again. <laughs> Isn't it great being right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's great being modest as well. Thank you to everyone that took part uh, this morning. Uh, if you're in the car shouting along or on Facebook, then uh, thank you very much too. Uh, we'll play again at same time, same place tomorrow with more headline or hearsay uh, it's nearly quarter to eight on the way we'll update you with the latest travel news for the isle of Wight, plus your latest news headlines with charlotte's it's all to come uh, first of all though, a bit take that <laughs>